we're going to talk about integration by parts. Integration by parts is a way for us to integrate um, things that have, were processed by the product rule when we took the derivative. So how do we undo the product rule? And the answer to that is we integrate by parts. The other alternative to this is using what's called a table or book of integrals where you search through a long list of all the different functions that you can integrate and you find one that matches. So I gave you a formula sheet that has a few of those um, formulas off of an integral table, but the integral book that I have is about an inch thick and it's you know just hundreds of pages of all different functions and you search and you find the one that you want and you follow the formula. But we're going to take a look at integration by parts so that you can see how in fact we undo the product rule of the derivative. There is a formula for integration by parts and it looks something like this u dv and notice that one of those is a u and one of those is a v. Once we identify those, we will do uv minus the integral of v du. Now, there have to be certain conditions that allow us to do integration by parts. First of all, we have to be able to split up our function into two pieces. And those two pieces, one of them we have to be able to integrate and the other we need to be able to take the derivative. So if we can't split it up or we can't take the integra uh, integration or we can't take the derivative then we wouldn't be able to do integration by parts. Okay. We also have to be able to finish the right side here by actually taking the integral of v du because sometimes you create something that you are unable to do that. Let's dive right into an example but I do want to help you try to figure out what are you going to call u and what are you going to call dv. And there's a couple of hints. When you're picking u, we want u to be the things with powers because if you take um, a derivative of something with a power, it's going to decrease that power and we eventually can get rid of it. So we want u to have powers because du will decrease the power. And then for dv, normally when there's an e involved, we're going to let that be dv because the derivative and the integral of e's are exactly the same. The derivative of e is e, the integral of e is e, and so no matter what it's not going to go um, completely away but notice that if we call dv e up in the formula then v would just have an e in it of some sort and we will um, be able to always integrate the e and so we that's another hint. So let me uh, talk you through this a little bit and see how we can do. Um, so let's first, on the first example, the integral of x e to the 5x dx. What we need to do is we need to um, come up with um, how to split this up. Now technically this is x uh, to the first there. So let's use our two hints and see what we can come up with. So we need to know what u is and then we're going to find du. We also need to know what dv is and then we'll find v. And we have to use all of the pieces of this integral. Well first it says we should let u be something with a power. Now these both have powers but e to the 5x is an e and we want to put that over here. So e to the 5x dx is going to be our dv. The dx is always going to be with the dv because you must have a dx in order to integrate. And then that would put x to the first here. 
So using our two little hints, we put our power for u and our e for dv. Now let's fill in the gaps. The derivative of x to the first is just 1. The integral, so now we're going to do the integral of e to the 5x dx in order to find v. So if we know what dv is, to find v, we do the integral of that. And the integral, <coughs> I'm sorry, the integral of e to the 5x dx is e to the 5x divided by the 5. And so that's going to be our v. And now we're ready to plug it into our formula. So the integral of x e to the 5x dx is equal to u, which is x, times v, which is 1 fifth e to the 5x, minus the integral of v, which is 1 fifth e to the 5x, du, which was just 1, and it was actually 1 dx. So du was really 1 dx, so that would just give me a dx here. So here on the left, we just have 1 fifth x e to the 5x minus, and now the integral of 1 fifth e to the 5x, well the integral of e to the 5x is just e to the 5x divided by uh, the 5, and so we have 1 fifth, which was in our original, but then I have e to the 5x divided by 5, and so that's going to give me a 25. So my final answer is 1 fifth x e to the 5x minus 1 25th e to the 5x. And if we were to take the derivative of what's in that box, we would get this original function. That is integration by parts. The hardest part is picking what u and dv are going to be, and then plugging in isn't all that bad, but it can get messy. I, I'm, I'm going to give you that. It can definitely get messy. Let's look at another example, and perhaps you want to break or pause and, and rethink over this one. All right, number two, the integral of lin of x dx. So this one doesn't have powers, and it doesn't have um, any e's, and so the question is, what should u v what should u be and what should dv be? Remember, whatever you pick for dv, we have to be able to integrate whatever you pick. And we do not know the integral of um, lin of x. So we cannot integrate the lin of x, and so we cannot make that dv. So we're going to have to make lin of x be our u, and that only leaves the dx to be our dv. To take the derivative of the lin of x, that is 1 over x dx. Don't forget that dx on that du. I did up on the original. And so the integral of dx is simply x. So now we follow our formula. The integral of lin x dx is equal to u times v, which is just our x. Remember, this is our v here, minus the integral of v, which was just our x, times du, which is 1 over x dx. 
So I'll clean this up a little bit. This will be x ln x. The x's here cancel, so it will be minus the integral of dx. And so we get x ln x. The integral of dx is just x plus c. And I don't recall, I don't think I stuck that plus c here. I did not. That should have a plus c on number 1 because we do not have a definite integral. So anytime we don't have a definite integral, we would have a plus c. So again, if you cannot integrate something, it has to be put into the u spot because you can take the derivative of it. Let's get one that looks a little bit messier. Number 3. The integral of 2x squared e to the negative 3x dx. This is similar to number 1, but we've got a little bit more power going on. But remember that we want our power to be our u and anything with our e to be our dv. Make sure you use all the pieces out of the problem. So we're going to make u equal 2x squared and dv equal e to the negative 3x dx. So now our du equals 4x dx. Our v is the integral of e to the negative 3x dx, which is e to the negative 3x divided by the 3, and it's actually divided by the negative 3. Now we're ready to do our integral. u times v minus the integral of v du, which is 4x dx. So let's clean things up a little bit. On the first one, we would get negative 2 thirds x squared e to the negative 3x. Here we have two negatives, gives a positive. The 4 and the 3 could come out front and be a positive 4 thirds, but now we have to take the integral of e3x times x dx. And we're in the same predicament as we were up in the original problem that we have two separate pieces, but our x squared has been reduced to x. What we are going to have to do for this piece only right here is we are going to have to run integration by parts again. So what I'm going to do is write in red as we work just on that piece I'm going to bring everything else down to the bottom. Because that is all set. And now we're just going to take the integral of e to the 3x times x dx. Same exact thing. We want our u to be our x to the first. We want our dv to be e to the 3x dx. Take the derivative of u, we get dx. Take the integral to find v, and we would have e to the 3x over 3. Now we're ready to do uh, u times v minus the integral of v du. Notice now we don't have that extra variable. So this piece is really done. I'm going to just clean it up as one third x e to the 3x. can bring this out here so I would have negative one third. The integral of e to the 3x is e to the 3x divided by the power. So that's going to give me negative one ninth e to the 3x. And now all I need to do to finish the whole thing up is to distribute that four-thirds. 
So negative 2 thirds x squared e to the negative 3x plus 4 ninths x e to the 3x minus 4 over 27 e to the 3x. Oh, and don't forget r plus c. We could factor out the e to the 3x. However, um, there's really no reason to. I think that, that we can um, be fine there. I did notice, though, I'm a con little concerned about this negative sign. So let me see if I lost a negative sign. So we had dv was e to the negative 3x, which means our v was e to the negative 3x. So right here, that should have been a negative 3x. It's because everything's negative. So that's going to be fine. When I take care of this, the only thing that changes is that should be a negative. And therefore, that should be a negative. Let me switch colors here so you can see. So that should be a negative. That should be a negative, which means I should have divided by negative 3. And that should be a negative. So we just lost the negative sign. Um, but then I should have a negative 3 here, which would have made this a positive. But I would have divided again by negative 3. And somehow I came out OK, I believe, with that negative 1 ninth because I had, no, that should, let's see. That should have become a positive. And that, right, so that should be a negative 1 ninth, but it should be e to the negative 3x. So I think that that might be, uh, maybe this, let's see, um, u times v, that should have been a negative, which would have made that a negative, which would have made that a negative. So I lost a sign there, but I think we got it back, and uh, the process is, is still the same. Your test will certainly not be um, heavy in this type of problem, because you can see that it can be a lot of work, but it is important for you to understand the process of integration by parts, so please spend some time practicing on that.